And because government and churches are partnering together. Because the churches are the chain that government used to change the brain of the poor masses so that they will keep on disturbing Jesus to have the basic thing that government is supposed to do for them. I was sick in India. I stayed in the hospital for seven days. I didn't pay dime because it is government hospital. When I was sick inside a flight, before we get to Qatar, ambulance has been waiting for me. They took me to Old Ahmed General Hospital, Doha, in Qatar. I was treated free of charge. For two days, I didn't pay dime. Now, when they are sick in Nigeria, instead of you to fight for them, to have a good, better hospital, for government to give them all this thing, you tell them that Jesus will cure sickness. Show me where Jesus has made a crippled person to walk in your village. I will give you one million with a plot of land. Show me where Jesus make a blind to see in your compound, in your village, in your yard, in the street where you are living. Even in your school, the crippled one that all of you join uh, uh, st uh, uh, study once in university or secondary school, they are still crippled today. You don't want to help yourself. Keep on wandering around. No, keep on moving from one prayer minister. This year is your year, but you don't have any plan. Black race don't have any plan for this year, 2022. They were jubilating. Crossover. What, 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 what are you celebrating? Crossover. Which plan do you have to improve this world? Go and go, go to the internet now. Google Toyota car 2024. White people have designed it. If you can afford it now, pay. They will, pro they will produce it and give it to you. And that is what is going to provide more than 10,000 job opportunities in every village in their, in their land, in the white man country. And the black man don't have such plan. The plan that the black man have is end time, rapture, prayer, Wednesday prayer, Monday, Tuesday, Thursday, Friday, Sunday. You are shouting Holy Ghost fire, 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 because you are a mad person. You are a mad dog. You, you want nothing. You, the world is too big for you to, to, to control because you are reading Bible. Build, manufacture by the Chinese you call unbeliever. Now thousands have died in the church in Delta State. Why can't them rush them, those, those victims to their church branch? To their next branch so that they will use prayer and blood of Jesus to cure them. Now they have rushed them to FMC, to different hospital. So it is now the duty of medical doctor to use a medicine manufactured by India, Chinese and Pakistan you call unbeliever to treat them. Oh, now they need the lab test, x-ray. Eh, now MRI test is now needed. A CT scan is now needed. Some don't, some will not even have money to buy medicine. Then. See, they are dying. So now, now, oh, now you, you, you go and branch technology. <laughs> no more Holy Ghost come. Holy Ghost come. Holy in Nigeria, where there is no electricity, is where Holy Ghost live. You can, you, now you, you need technology, right? But it is worldly things because they build a mansion for you in heaven. White man who slave you during the slave trade. Who changed you like animal, like dog? Later they came with a house in heaven. Black man from Anambra, from Enugu, where I came from. They have mansion. That is why your, your, your Christian leaders are protecting their life with soldier. Police, well armed with AK-47. And they are covering you with the blood of Jesus. You are giving them your heart and money, making them rich. And they are telling you that Jesus will make you rich. Because you don't have sense of reasoning. You, 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 you lack the ability to reason. And that, when you have the ability to reason now, that is what qualifies you to be a human being. No, Yibana Allah, wherever they are, die, they die. And this incident happened on Tuesday. On Tuesday, on working days. And I want to ask you that is in Germany, or in Portugal, or in France, or in London, or in Italy, or in Norway, or in China. India, Cambodia, Vietnam, Holland, have you seen them on Tuesday crying in the church? Have you seen the uh, European citizen, the Portuguese who brought the Bible to you? Have you seen them left their job and gathered in one building in the name of praying to Jesus to give them money, protection? You see this video, eh? This man, he said it all. Everything we talk. Only the ones who be see their brain still there intact. Now they go know the meaning of this message. Make Africa wake up. Wake up. Don't be the type that go to church Monday to Sunday inside church. Prayer without work is dead. You don't need to be. There is a lot of them actually a lazy Christian. Going to church to pray for food when you actually have no means of income. You are not working, you are expecting salary. That is exactly what a lot of Christians are doing. 
hoping for miracle money. There is no miracle money anywhere. How many of these great people have you ever heard that they go to church to church from Monday to Sunday? Don't get me wrong. I'm not saying going to church is bad. But at least the way we Africa are doing it, that is not the way it's supposed to be. A lot of them don't even also, they don't have any handwork, they don't have any means of income, they are expecting miracle money. What a shame. I know a lot of them still condemn this video, but the one with the with sense, we know that this man you speak the truth. Please guys, if you are one of those ones that believe that what this man said is the truth, please share the video and leave your comment. God bless you. Bye.